Hey, Alan. So um, I thought I'd uh, just record the process here to let you know. So basically, I grabbed that legacy file converter. I installed it. It gets installed into my um, my uh, user's account, right? So my C users can. It creates a directory. There it is. Um, and then it's an executable. Supposedly, you can drag and drop on it. But it's just easier to open up the PowerShell. In Windows, and since I'm an old dude, I just feel comfortable working in the PowerShell. So we're going to go through and change into that directory, and then we can see there's all those documents we want to work on. So you basically just run that legacy converter on each document one by one. And so that's what I'll do. I'm not going to show you all of them. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what the name of that extension was. I think it was MWM3. Um, if I look at the documentation here, ah, it's right here. So word for word, word for word format codes. Uh, it should be word for Windows or something. So there's a document in the instructions here. Always read the instructions, people. And so it'll give you all the different codes. So I'm looking for your case. It was MS Word for Mac 3.0, which is MWM3. So I want to do MWM3 for each one of these. We're going to dump to RTF. I haven't tried anything else. And then it adds a file extension .doc. So here we go. So uh, word for word, there was, uh, eh. oh, did I not select the right converter? Oh, let's try again. Let's do that again. I think maybe I didn't MWM3. I'm doing it live. Yeah, there we go. So and so I just did this for each one. I could open it, but I don't really want to open it. it I mean, it's going to open it in Word, and there it is. It's all good to go. So what I do now is I just you know go and do it for each one of these documents. Uh, that was that one. Uh, but I want biblioche.doc, I think. There we go, MWM3. Autocomplete was uh, not working that well. And so I won't open that one. I'll just show you a few. And then the next one, let's say, was big abstract dot dot. I'll do that. MWM3. Maybe there's a command line argument where I could specify the, um, the actual uh, extension input format. But eh, effort. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to produce all those. And then it took me a, a few minutes to figure out, oh, it drops them in this VDOS plus directory. I don't know why, but it does. So that's where I'll find them. I'll dig them all out. And I'll put them in a zip for you. So that's about it. There's the video, Alan. And uh, take it easy. I, I miss seeing you. And uh, have a happy holidays. And then I'm just going to um, show you again here. Uh, there's pathing issues. So I noticed you had a directory props. I dumped that into this same directory, so I'm going to need to um, do it there. I was trying to do it into the directory and do the conversion, but it just didn't want to, so it's just easier for me to do that. You can see that the little pop-up window showed there. Um, for bigger documents, it would actually take a little while to run through that um, DOS window that popped up and it was running the uh, conversion process, so that's about it.